Hello there, Vienna lovers. I'm going to do a one of my kind of tasters, kind of a Hunty's World of Pain on tour, but for one specific line in one specific opening. And what we're going to be looking at today is the Mike Namisa's Gambit in the Vienna, and you actually get it quite a lot. So I've pulled up seven games, all of which finish in less than 12 moves, I think, um, with White winning. And... Uh, we'll just whiz through it to give you a feel. So if you if you are a Vienna player, then the the computer move here is actually bishop e2, which just looks really, really weird. Uh, most people pay, play bishop to c4, targeting f7. And common moves here can be knight f6, in which case I'm now playing d3. I'm not doing this dropping the bishop back nonsense anymore. Knight can come out there. Um, that's quite common. You might see like d6. Anyway, so what we're looking at is the full copycat line and um, the the best move here and well in fact the the computer move here is Queen h5 which is interesting uh, second is Knight f3 third is d3 but we're not interested in any of that we're interested in setting a horrible trap for black with the move Queen to g4 and the computer disapproves because it says, well, actually, now you can come straight in with this, but then we'll just capture that and threaten the threaten the rook, so hey-ho. Um, also, you can, if, if the knight comes here threatening the fork, you can just drop this bishop back as well and defend, so. Um, this is the most common move that you will see in this position, and it makes perfect sense for black. Black's thinking, well, look, I've got to guard g7 anyway. I've already got a bishop looking down at the f-pawn. Hello, could be on here. And what you do, you can almost pre-move this. I mean, I, I, I hover with the knight over, over the d5 square. The old, the old faithful, knight to d5, hitting the queen. And um, nearly all the time, in fact, the only good move here, the only good move for black is to capture the pawn. Okay, now it looks as though you're almost checkmated here. And if this bishop wasn't there, it would be, king would be forced to d1, queen f1 is mate. Okay, but you're not. And in fact, black has to be super careful here. <clears throat> By the way, one thing, you need to fix your eyes on the d-pawn. I cannot tell you the number of games where black has surreptitiously pushed d7 to d6 and I've blundered my queen from this position or very similar position. So you just got to, don't even blink you're looking at that pawn, yeah? Okay, so king d1 is forced here. There's no other move. But interestingly, so our bishop is actually covering the f1 square, and if you look at it, um, black's queen has um, no squares. The knight covers that, the pawn covers that, uh, the pawn covers here, pawn covers here, obviously that's not even accessible. Um, bishop's covering this one, king's covering this one, king's covering this one, so is the knight, and the pawns have got all of these. So black's queen actually, and of course our queen covers there, so Black's Queen actually only has the screen, the, 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 screen the, the square that she's on, and d4. So a common move to remember here is going to be knight h3, but we're going to see some of that. Okay, so here Black pulls a fast one, and it, the eval has jumped to 6.2 in White's favour. Okay, now you can safely grab the g-pawn there. The Queen is defending this still. Now you've got to be careful, sometimes actually capturing the rook is, is a real mistake. Um, so in this game, we have bishop e6, right, and now knight to g3. So we're hitting the queen, and the queen really doesn't have anywhere to go, okay, other than this square. And if the queen goes there, you push d3, and you are then threatening to push c3 and trap the queen. Okay, in this game, they capture the bishop. Now, this is a game I played today. Very tempting to recapture immediately, uh, but there is only one really good move for white here, and it's the move that I played, and I was very, very pleased with myself for finding this move, and it is rook to f1. We hit the queen, we, we say, forget about the knight, the knight is bzz, 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 inconsequential, yes? And obviously, so rook here, defended by the bishop, hitting the queen, also x-raying down on f7, Queen moves, check, king there, okay. 
Queen to f8 check. Only one move. King d7. Okay. And the finish on this is just lush. Okay, so he's not in check now. In comes the rook with check. Knight blocks. And then can you find the final move of the game? Knight f6. Discovered attack by the bishop on the e6 square. Queen's covering all that. King's in check. It's checkmate. Thank you very much. You're outwards. So, absolute beauty. 13 moves. Thank you. And good night. Okay, let's go through another one. Um, queen out here and queen f6. Okay, so all of these start from the same position. Because I want to give you a feel for what to do in different things. So, in you throw in the knight. Queen black goes, ha-ha. And you go, oh no. Now, king f8 is probably the best move here. Yeah. King f8 is still plus one for white. Knight to h3. Remember this move. Okay, the queen's got very few options. And they now counter-attack our queen. Now, here's an important one to remember. The boomerang tactic for the knight. Okay, you can... In fact, the right move here is probably... Yeah, knight takes queen. They take you. And then you recapture. So you actually win a piece. Right? I didn't do that in the game. I messed it up. And I played uh, queen g5. This is quite a recent game, actually. And now... The, obviously, the queen's still under threat, so the queen now sticks itself in, in the d4 square. Now, they should have, according to the computer, the only good move here is h6, but not easy to find. So, queen goes to the only safe square, and we shut the door with pawn to d3. They now push h5, and bingo, c3, and the queen is actually trapped. Has nowhere to go. So, they throw in a check, we dodge... And checkmate follows soon after. How about that for a slice of fried gold? Want another one? Go on then. Got plenty more where these came from. Okay, copycat, full copycat. Queen g4, trappy trappy lines. In comes the knight, they take, you dodge away. Here g6 is played, not the best move. Okay, remember knight h3, hit the queen. What's the queen gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, we know this doesn't work. Because unless you are a Muppet, then you know you can just take and win a piece and probably go on to win the game. Uh, this is not great because we simply take the Queen and actually Black resigns here because if they take our Queen, same deal. Yeah, there you go. And that was eight moves. Here's another one. Stop me if you've seen this before. Okay, so Queen retreats all the way to D8. We grab us a pawn. Okay, also notice this Bishop is well out of the way. It would love to come to this square, but it can't. So, ha! Okay, they come in with a knight, trying this move. Now, I could drop the bishop here or here to defend c2. I don't bother. I grab the rook. He comes in with a fork. Dodge. And that's not actually checkmate. There's a bishop can go in. Okay. Oh. What? Here with check. And if queen takes, it's mate with queen takes f7. No, it's not. If queen takes, there, king goes in here, then it's mate. We, we capture the bishop with mate. Okay, so queen does take. There we go. That's the mate. Yeah. The only alternative here is actually king to e7, which is very hor horrible indeed as well. So it's plus 24 here for white, so totally, totally dominant. <clears throat> okay, got three more. Full copycat, queen g4. Queen comes out, hit, blang, right. Knight comes out. Seems very natural, right? I want to get castle, blah, blah, blah. Queen takes g7. Right, still defending this square. Now attacking the, the rook. Okay, so what would you play here? We play, we play the move. Knight to f6. Removing the defender of the rook. If the queen captures here, we take the rook. Uh, so here the king moves. Now we can, I guess, take the rook with check. Yep. Okay. And resigns. Simple as that. Right? You will win a lot of quick games with this line. I promise you. Just avoid the pitfalls. Okay. A couple more for the road, just for good measure. Out comes the queen. Hit the queen. 
And here, this is an interesting one because, right, they're retreating their bishop, which does a couple of things. One is it gives the queen a couple more squares to go to. The other thing is it comes back to defend this pawn. But it ain't the best move, as you can see on the eval. Plus 10 already. Okay, here actually it's saying queen takes g7 is the second best move. Again, knight h3. Knight h3 is number one. That's not what I play. I come after the rook. Their knight comes in. And now I play knight h3, which is the best move, yep. Queen h4. And now knight takes c7, it, the computer says. But this is nearly as good. Queen comes in here attacking my knight and my bishop. I guess my bishop can just drop back there. But knight f6, wow. Royal fork. Kind of defended by the knight, but the knight's pinned, so it can't do a thing. And there you go. Beautiful finish and resigns. One last one. So I, I think that like looking at quite a few of the same similar positions, games from, from the same positions, is, is quite handy. Okay, so to, to give you a feel for the like the rhythm of what you do. Okay, king f8. We've seen this before. Now is it knight h3? It's knight h3. Yep. They counterattack the queen. Just push forward to g5. What's the best move? Yeah, that is that is the the is the best move. Only good move really for white. They push f6 now. Okay, and just push forward again. Queen g6. And now look at this. As soon as that knight moves, we're looking at mate. So their knight comes out. I guess we can just eliminate that knight. Because um, if this knight takes, we have a straight mate. We take, they take back, and this is a 1485 in a 10-minute in a 10 10-minute 10 game, okay, and mate. So there you go. So yeah, the Mike Namizas Gambit, um, if you're a Vienna player, you need to know it, and you particularly just need to know this move sequence because you'll get it such a lot, okay. Um, it's not the most, I mean, more players will just play Knight F6, but you will see this a lot, and you need to remember this basic sequence, these first kind of seven moves here for white, uh, you will win an awful lot of games with that. So Vienna players, hope that's been useful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Chess Bootcamp if you haven't subscribed, and I'll see you soon.